A candlelight vigil in southeast Arkansas tonight honored the lives of five people killed in a horrific crash. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Troy Lynch. On Monday, an adult center bus crashed into an 18-wheeler at the intersection on U.S. Highway 65 and Arkansas Highway 35. Arkansas State Police officials believe the bus failed to yield for oncoming traffic, sending both vehicles off the road and into a ditch. Five of the bus's passengers were killed, ranging in age from 19 to 73, and another five were injured. Our Niels Zerang is back in studio after traveling all the way from Vermont, where the bus is from. It's also where the vigil was tonight. Neil, how are the people doing there? Well, Troy, as the tears flowed down, the prayers went up in Vermont. Schools, parking lots, sons, fathers, mothers, and other family and friends shared memories of the young and old taken too soon. Whatever you need, God's got it. Under a warm sun Sunday, not everyone had water or a fan, but they all had a person they missed dearly. 73-year-old Geraldine Pruitt, 65-year-old Regina Jackson, 56-year-old Terry King, 50-year-old Tommy Figures, and 19-year-old Brayshawn Ransom. All lost their lives in the CB King bus crash Monday. Nicest person you ever want to see. Jacqueline Johnson is the mother of Brayshawn. It means everything to our family because Brayshawn was loved. CB King is a center focused on adults with developmental disabilities. Service coordinator at the center, Felicia Harris, said they took the whole week off to heal following the crash. We really need the prayers and just, you know, with our students that really don't understand what's really going on or to just harden. The CB King family will return Monday with eight fewer students because three are recovering in the hospital. It's going to be an emptiness not seeing them there because they was there every day. Family, staff, and firefighters all took the podium to encourage families. One day at a time, we'll get to it. And reassure them. We are here for y'all 100%. It's a comfort for families who know while God has their loved ones, someone here can give them comfort too. I just want to thank everybody that came out. Everybody that loved my son and knew my son, I thank them all. Donations were taken and can be sent to the Dermont Fire Department. It will help families with loved ones in the hospital. CB King staff said some may have months of recovery ahead of them. Reporting in studio, Niels Rang, back to you, Troy.